welcome back, or maybe two, <laughs> the Bad to Catholic show. Yeah, uh, today we're going to talk to you about what's been going on like the past month, because I know y'all have missed us, um, and where we're heading. There we go. Yeah. So, are, is anybody confused about like, is this a new show? What What are Casey and Aaron doing right now? Did they just get bored and decide to change the name? No. No, um, so we are looking to the future, basically, and I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, just that we want to create something, a platform at this point when we're, sorry, not real popular. <laughs> I mean, that's kindly putting it, isn't it? Um, we're not um, being hit up to go on the road, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you know. Um, so we want to make sure that we're starting something that we can build and build upon later as we progress in all of this. We want something unique that is us. Yeah. So that is probably going to involve at some point copywriting. And we want to make sure that whatever we choose now for a, a name and whatnot is not going to be taken by the time we get around to um, like hiring a lawyer and actually having money to hire a lawyer. To file all that Speaking paper. of which, if you'd like to donate, <laughs> we're not there yet. We might be in the future, though, so yeah. So get your is, checkbooks ready. <laughs> yeah. um, so this is just, it's, it, it's kind of time that we had to make a decision. So the past month, probably, we've been looking at our options, like, do we want to change this? The Casey and Aaron show. Yeah, that is a little bit too hokey. I yeah. guess oh. for me is the word. Casey brought it up and I was like, oh, automatically did not like that. <laughs> not even a little bit. So um, we we thought about a lot of options and we just kind of let things lay for a little bit for that reason. Because we wanted to make sure we were moving forward and not kind of stumbling over ourselves. Mm -hmm. So Casey has had this Baptist Catholic whatever platform, I guess you want to call it, um, for a while now, I think since like 2016. It's actually. been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, and I was so frustrated the other night and praying the rosary and I was like, just like grump into God. Y'all ever do that? Like just grump. Hashtag grump to God. Yeah. Like just grump and like, why is this just not like nothing was settling in my heart and I say that a lot to Casey and it probably drives me crazy but like when I look to like dis major major decisions and stuff I typically when I I know I've made the right decision when I'm just like my heart is at peace about something and that was just not happening with a podcast name change not at all and, I, and add to that, like the compound kind of interest of we haven't done this in several weeks. Like we're going to get to the point to where we just don't want to do it at all and throw it all out the window. Yeah. And people are asking, I mean, not a lot of people, but some people <laughs> are asking. Yeah. My grandma's asking. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. But there are people who are asking. So that just makes it even more frustrating as we're thinking about this. You would know. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, people are asking and I'm just... Frustrating, like, God, I just don't know. What do you freaking want from me? Very you know? eloquent. Yes, my prayers. It's become so, no, <laughs> no, it's me grumping to God sometimes, you know, and that's just real life. But I'm sitting there, I'm grumping, and it was like, lightning bolt, Baptist Catholic show. So I come and tell Casey, which I got him a few years ago, probably now, mm -hmm. a shirt um, that says the Babda Catholic. Like, he's all about this and loves it. And it's so, wore out now. Yeah, it's wore out. Okay, how do I tell so it I, I um, came to him. I was like, listen, I have a solution. Like, I know what the answer is here. What we should do. He's like, Casey and Aaron show, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Um, the Baptist Catholic show, he was like, like I knew, I knew, I saw the little glimmer in his, in his eye. He loved the idea. Loved it. But didn't want to admit Baptist it. Catholic's back. All right. 
Two but, Backstreet Boys <laughs> reference and two shows. Right. All right. Um, but he did, he was worried about it because like he didn't want it to be like his thing. And I the I, Casey I show, yeah, basically. right. But um, well, and, really, and, and well, and two, you know, I was raised all my life as a Baptist, mm -hmm. and so I had just you know had that in my mind. And I'll I'll talk to you a little bit about the the background of that name. But Aaron was raised non denominational Christian, but it just kind of kind of a bulb went off after we talked about it for a little bit. I mean, for the four years that we went to, we were in undergrad, mm -hmm. she was Baptist. Yeah, I went, she to, went to the Baptist, Baptist church together. We went yeah. to the Baptist church together, so for all intents and purposes, you were yeah. Baptist. And then, and then until we became Catholic, we weren't really anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it was just, um, it was probably, what, a two-month time period that we either didn't go to church at bounced all. Bounced around. And bounced around to different whatevers until we decided to start RCIA. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we're changing things, and you'll notice like we have we have a WordPress the blog. It's everything that was on Catholic on Purpose blog is moved over to the Baptist Catholic blog. Everything that was on I think the Facebook page has been moved over. Is that right? Well, yeah. There's just an announcement on our Catholic on Purpose. Uh, Facebook page to to follow over to Baptist Catholic and like it. Yeah. yeah. So we're working on getting everything updated, moved over. If you'll notice, if you're watching the video or, you know, if you're listening, you can't hear us, but or you can't see, but we've got like a background here um, that I, I designed it, you know, so really fancy and all that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're working on moving and updating. There's an Instagram, there's a Twitter, there's a Facebook, all that stuff. If you want to go follow, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. So just a little bit about, I, I thought maybe it'd probably be a good idea to tell you why the name Baptist Catholic. You, you wouldn't, I mean, it would surprise you probably if I told you that the, the amount of people who have commented like on Facebook or something when I was, when I was doing something under that name and, and they would say something like, there's only one Catholic church, and that's the one founded on Peter. There ain't no Baptist Catholic church. And I'm like, man. Yeah, because when people meet Casey, they're like, I think that guy might be a heretic. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame him. <laughs> like, that guy looks pretty <laughs> sketch. All right. So the whole point of Baptist Catholic was to kind of acknowledge my conversion from the, the Baptist tradition to Catholicism. Therefore, Baptist Catholic, right? Baptist to Catholic, hence the name. But of course, there are some people who, you know, those folks who don't read what you write or don't listen to the video. They just want to jump in the comm boxes and say, that ain't right. Let me tell you why the catechism says this. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oh. And so I'd have to respond back to those people and they'd be like, oh, I get it. All right. So, you know, right off the bat, it's not some kind of amalgamation. Yes, we don't, we don't think the Baptist Church is the Catholic Church, right? right. We're not confused yeah. at all. We're one hundred percent. In fact, I have a bumper sticker that says one hundred percent Catholic. So there. Okay? <laughs> so defeated that objection. Um, but so <laughs> I just thought I just thought it was a cool name. Maybe it, maybe it's too kind of quirky. I don't know, but it, it's worked. Some people have said they liked it. So maybe the, basically just. It conveys our conversion from essentially, right, the Baptist church and that uh, kind of a Baptist framework to the Catholic faith. And I think, as I was thinking about, you know, when you're when you're thinking about doing a blog or you're doing a podcast or whatever it is, you got to kind of find your wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. You can't be everything to everybody. You're not a specialist in everything. But one thing that... Oh, I am. Well, besides Aaron. <laughs> but for us humble folk, okay... Uh, we have to find what we're what we're good at or what we know at the very least. And yeah. I think for us, we know what it's like to be former Protestants, specifically evangelical Baptist from that point of view, coming into the Catholic Church. And we know the kind of the frustrations that a conversion like that um, comes with. We know what we we had to learn some the basic tenets of the Catholic faith. And and so we're not experts or we don't have it all down, but we, we know that experience well enough to be able to A, you know, a, reach out to those people mm -hmm. that are either, you know, Protestant and maybe you're hostile against the church or maybe they're curious about the church and want to know more. And B, to kind of fill our cradle Catholic brothers and sisters in on what that's like and how we can serve that community and then how we all can be 
Catholic, really on purpose, even though we've changed the name. So we're, we're going with the same idea, right? We're explaining the how and the what, just a name change, right? Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. we're basically keeping the same format, the how and what, and, or what and how, rather, because Casey always has to be in charge or whatever. No, Keep it in order. <laughs> um, but it's, it is... I wouldn't even say we're going to focus so much on the conversion stuff like you talked about. Mm -hmm. We became Catholic or whatever. But we want to... Draw from our experience. Right. Ex yeah. Especially that fervor. We've written that a lot in all, all of our stuff. And that's a very particular thing we want to make sure we're focusing on. Is, is being excited about our faith and really getting out there and sharing it. Evangelization, y'all have heard it. Y'all know it's it's our thing. That's our thing, yeah. you know. That's I mean, and so that's the kind of the 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 what or the why behind the name. Uh, we thought, I mean, it just it works really well. You know, we kind of had I kind of had a little bit of a following anyway on social ma media. So it's hopefully it's just kind of a seamless transition uh, to that. Um, also, if you remember, if you've been following us, we had a survey out, and I'm going to continue to put that for at least a few more episodes down in the show notes. So that if you haven't taken that survey yet, please, please, please do. Obviously, it says the Bad to Catholic Show survey now instead of Catholic on purpose. Um, but we've got some interesting results from that. Yeah. Um, people who with suggestions, uh, hey, we liked this. Could you focus more on that? Uh, maybe not so much of this. And I love the topics that people are suggesting. Oh, yes. They have been like really, really good. And I'm excited to move forward and see like what what we all what we have to say i guess what i'm excited to see what i have to say about that no yeah <laughs> i'm excited for those i'm excited to let to you hear what i have to say <laughs> is what i'm saying okay no i'm just kidding yeah i'm excited for them yeah. to come up because i think they're the questions we've gotten have been really good and things that i hadn't maybe considered to talk about and mm. that people would like to hear about yeah something that really uh, this is kind of off topic on topic something that really gives me a lot of energy uh, especially our, I mean, anybody, but Catholics who have asked me, you know, how do you, how do you explain this? Or, or, or what's the Catholic Church's understanding of, of this particular teaching? I, I love it for a few reasons. Number one, I could talk about the Catholic faith. I mean, we could just sit and talk. I won't have all the answers, but I could sit and talk to you for hours about it, literally. And he does. And I do, right? Um, I'm but, the only audience for that. Exactly. No, she's not, okay? <laughs> Who's sitting there, my wife? Now you want to know about transubstantiation and how that came up in the letter and council? All that? No, okay, I don't do that. Oh, thank you. Not very often. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> but I also I really appreciate the vulnerability of people who just ask the question, right? I and this is a fault on my end. I'm a I, I can tend to be a little bit prideful, so I wouldn't want to ask a question because I don't want to sound like I don't have the answer. That's bad on my part, and I have to kind of retrain myself, right? That's something I have to work with myself on. But these people who have come up to me, even in person, and asked, you know, I don't understand this. Can you help me this with that? That's awesome. And so if you have a question that we can address, um, remember that that link is still there. Where you can still ask the questions and fill out that form. Or, or really like helpful. a Facebook message or, it, oh, you yeah. know, on Instagram, whatever. Throw it to us. We would love to hear more from people. I'd really like to get some more of those voice messages. Yeah, that was, and cool. we, that was fun. We we really liked having that and being able to put it in the show and stuff. The That's, only other option for voice messages right now, I think, is Casey's sister, which she was on the show, you know. But she even in the message was like, I should have planned what I was going to say because I don't have anything. <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we really like those. I think it just adds a little flair to the to our conversations and gets people's real life you know experiences mm -hmm. in the show as well so um just a few things that came out of this uh survey so uh, far so far right we want more we want more we want more but um just a few things number one i think uh people have commented on uh man they really like to focus on the practicalities mm -hmm. of living out the catholic faith which was something that we always kind of wanted to get behind and do uh, because there are a lot of really good podcasts and, and, and places to get information about the Catholic faith, but not maybe not so much on, hey, here's this is what you do. This is just some things that you can take home and do right now. Yes, right? because when we were converting, I, like I had these traditions, these like Protestant traditions that like I know this is what I do this time of year or whatever. And I felt like I didn't have anywhere to turn really to find those when I was becoming Catholic, you know? Like, 
sometimes you'll see like old grandma Catholics, no, no offense to anybody, but like with the little infant of prom Jesus with like the different clothes to put on it, that's you know, so cool. dress up Jesus. I was like, that's awesome. Where did I get that? Yeah. I still haven't found it. So if anybody knows, holler at me. <laughs> but like those kind of traditions, like I love that stuff, but there's not a really like, this is where you go for that. Yeah. So that's one of the things we... When well, the places that we about. have found that, you know, have been in books primarily, you have found that yeah. in a couple of good books. And also, you know, it draws from traditions around the, the Catholic world and, mm -hmm. and being able to kind of pull those into for every once in a while. It's kind of fun. So we'll, we'll continue to do that. Uh, but also, there were some concrete questions about, you know, can you explain, I don't know what some of them were, but uh, apologetic questions like the Catholic Church's teachings on this or that or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and so we will still be doing that. And, and hopefully we can strike a balance between, right, that's essentially the what and the how, right? Mm -hmm. So the what is what we believe. So maybe it, it might be something on purgatory, but then the how, and we may have to stretch it sometimes, but the how is kind of, working off of that to, to bring it concretely down into your everyday life. Yeah. So it's not just some ethereal, something out there in the, the universe. That, yeah, um, so the next time that somebody works like, them dang Catholics believe in purgatory and ain't even in the Bible, then you can Interesting say, group you work with. <laughs> <laughs> then you can be like, oh, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Almost said Catholic on purpose. Go to the Bad to Catholic show. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you a link. Um, <laughs> But also, uh, we also really felt like after we put out this survey and now that we've been off for a few weeks, that the consensus is to have this every week. I know that everyone listening out here doesn't even listen to it that often or hears it every week. Some people listen maybe once a month and catch up on a few episodes, but um, there are folks out there who like the consistency um, so that they would you know, know what to expect. And, and I, really, we need that discipline too. It's to be funny it. because like, I did not, I, when we put that question on there, I was like, people ain't gonna they don't care, care right? if it's once a week or if it's every other week. They, people, you know. And it was like overwhelmingly. I think almost everybody was like, no, keep it once a week. Yeah, that or just no preference. Yeah, right. no preference. But uh, I mean, it was, people wanted it. And I was really surprised by that. So thank y'all. I mean, yeah. thanks for listening, even if you do catch up on it later. Like, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think it is, too. Uh, and then uh, there were a few people who liked the conversion stories or just like the guests bringing up. Mm -hmm. That was like an experimental run for us. Like, we were just like, hey, our sisters were up in town anyway. Let's let's try it out and see how it goes. And it went well. Um, so so we might actually branch out and try that. Maybe that's via Zoom or something like that and, and get more voices on the And I show. do have a couple of friends who have asked me and said, like, I normally wouldn't reach out and say I want to be on your podcast, but I want to be on your podcast. So that'll be coming. And by the way, that's an option. If I, I, I'm, I don't know if Aaron's like against this, but I will go ahead and, and extend it out there. If you have something maybe that you would like to contribute to the podcast and like, I don't know, there's lots of people out there. Not lots of people listening, but there are lots of people out there and have interesting uh, experiences and interesting stories. And maybe you, there's something uh, like maybe even a family tradition that you do. It wouldn't have to be a whole episode. You don't have to be like, I have to talk for 30 minutes on something. Yeah. And it, but, you know, to add some flavor, some pizzazz to the Baptist Catholic show, hey, that's awesome. You send us an email or send us a, yeah. a message and uh, we would definitely consider that and be honored by that, I think. Yeah. And then the last thing was, um, and this won't apply to everyone, but there was some interest mm -hmm. in um, doing some things in Spanish. Now, I'm not sure how that would look exactly if we would do full podcast episodes in Spanish, but that's something that we're definitely interested in. We were invited by, I think we mentioned this already, we were invited by a couple out of Spain who do a lot of apologetical work, defending the faith work out of, um, out of Spain. They have a pretty large following there and in Latin America, and they invited us on to just give our story in spanish obviously and it was don't watch the video <laughs> watch the it's video it's embarrassing yes, Casey no. pulled it up on the on the tv the other day it popped up the facebook video and i was like what are you doing that needs to lay somewhere <laughs> i speak spanish but y'all i barely speak english you no, hear me okay okay <laughs> She just does that. She says that kind of stuff, and it's not true. So anyway, that's called lying here, and you might want to <laughs> consult a priest. I don't know. We haven't talked about sin much on here. <laughs> we will next week. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Talk about your sins. All right. But uh, no, and it was an honor. It was kind of a real, it was a really cool thing. Uh, one of the good things about the internet, right, we can think about the bad things, and obviously there are. 
Uh, but one of the cool things is, is being able to connect with people on, you know, the other side of the ocean and, and then be invited onto that, that video. I mean, it's upwards, almost 16,000 views and 200 and some odd shares. And that's a big deal for us. I mean, who are we and why, you know, so I, and if often could I could see, that. if y'all could see what's back there on the, you know, out if, of, you're, if watch, you're watching what's out of range right now, it's, it's a scary sight. It's scary. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, as we were setting this up, I was like, I'm just so glad that crap can be everywhere right now. <laughs> like as we're trying to do this. Just garbage. Everywhere. Hashtag. Not actual garbage, real life, but like real all talk. our kids toys and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bags of garbage. We're not because gonna... this space also functions as our homeschool space. We're real life right here. Yeah. I just, I just want to be vulnerable with you. Can I be vulnerable? <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, that's just a few things. So maybe some Spanish, some video, short videos. I don't know. We're going to practice. We're going to, we're going to experiment we'll what, a little bit. We'll see what people like, but I will say that's another advantage with this moving to the Baptist Catholic mm -hmm. is that there is a large following already because Casey has done quite a bit of the Spanish mm -hmm. um whatever some blog posts and videos just different things right. so it's already there we're just kind of trying to build it more and combine everything and hopefully God willing just keep it keep it rolling you know what I mean yeah. not take a month off yeah. Yeah. Again. Um, so, so, so the good thing, right. <laughs> intentionally, intentionally, I don't know. Um, but the, the, the cool thing about it is as far as the podcast is concerned, we just changed the name. So there's no resubscribing somewhere mm -hmm. else to another podcast right. or it's just a matter of if you follow us on social media, you'll just have to kind of make a, a switch there and, and we'll have stuff out saying where to go. Yeah. And, and if you just look up, we're kind of like the only yeah, show if you in look town, the, Bab the Catholic. Bab the Catholic show, yeah. I, I mean, I think it automatically pops up with the podcast, the, the blog, word, yeah. press, mm -hmm. everything. I think it's up there if you just Google it. But yeah, you will have to switch over for social media and the blog. If and you the subscribed blog, right. on the blog, um, you'll have to resubscribe on the other Bab the Catholic blog. The, the cool thing about the blog, too, is we got like 46 entries now. Or something like that. Yeah, so I combined <laughs> all of them that we had on Catholic on Purpose. Like I said, Casey's been doing the Baptist Catholic since like 2016. So all of his blogs are there too. And then we just added on what yeah. we had on Catholic on Purpose. Mm -hmm. So it's all there. It's just a matter of finding it. And Aaron sat there and organized it for me. Because obviously I didn't know how the categories worked. Like I just make up a new category with every single blog post. So it had like 40 different categories. I don't think that one would fall into that category. It needs its own special one. It was, it was the funniest thing. I was like, what is this category? It'd be like, journey home, conversion story, salvation, my life, love it. <laughs> love it. Okay. There was nothing like that. Thank you. It didn't be the category. I was like, I don't think Casey's ever visited a blog. <laughs> All right, listen, I just, I'm a creative genius. I just, I don't have time to think about administrative <laughs> work. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm here for administration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, so that's just, that's basically what we want to do in this podcast to give you the reason I'm, I'm sure some people are like, why did they do that? Like, are they just, you know, restless over there and need something to do? We really, are we, a little no, bit. No, we've got plenty to do. <laughs> and lots of stuff we haven't done we need to do. So anyway. Yeah. We, hang with us. Hang with us. We are really excited about some things we have coming up. Um, the topics like I talked about that we're going to work on and, and we'll be getting them out. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So see you next time, guys. Stay tuned.